A grain-based diet, essentially what has happened with the grain-based diet that Americans eat is that it has reduced fruits and vegetables. So you think about every time you're eating grains, it's typically replacing a fruit or a vegetable, right? Does that make sense? So we're going to recommend a plant-based diet. So a plant-based diet says that we're recommending 40% of your calories from fruits and vegetables. We're recommending the other 30% be fats and the other 30% be proteins. All right? So what are proteins? Meats, seeds, and nuts for the most part. You're getting protein from vegetables, by the way. The way I always explain that to people is to say, does the cow eat meat? Does the cow have big muscles? Right? You can say, well, their metabolism is a little different than us. But it just proves the point that, you know, you're getting protein from eating vegetables, right? So what are our sources of protein? Meats, seeds, and nuts. What's the best sources of meats? Grass-fed beef is the best source of protein. 100% grass-fed beef. Why do I say that? Because we've done studies, and we've found that when you corn and grain feed a cow, Okay, when you corn and grain feed a cow, you increase the omega-6 fatty acids in the meat. Omega-6 fatty acids are pro-inflammatory. Okay, when you feed a cow only grass, it increases the omega-3 fatty acids in the meat, and it becomes anti-inflammatory in brain and cardiovascular healthy. You with me? So there are places around here, and there's resources I can give you to getting 100% grass-fed beef. Um, you can even buy it online now. Um, obviously, you've got to pay to ship it in, but if you're in that situation, you can do that. So that's where we're going to get our proteins from. Meats, seeds, and proteins, um, nuts. So when I'm talking about nuts, let me make sure that we're all talking about the same thing. I do not mean to go over to Walmart supermarket and buy planters, salted, roasted, mixed nuts. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about going to your grocery store and going into the baking section and buying raw pecans, raw walnuts, raw almonds. Are you with me? Why, why raw? Because when we heat food above 118 degrees, we kill the enzymes. And we want the enzymes in the food to help us digest them. Are you with me? So that's another problem with the grains, uh, beyond the anti-nutrients and the acidity and the high caloric, low nutrient value of them, um, there's no enzymatic factors in there to help us digest them, all right? So kind of understand where we're going to get the proteins from. Where are we getting fats from? We're going to get fats from meat, right? Healthy, grass-fed, free-range chickens, right? Wild game is wonderful, right? Um, you can get moose or elk or deer or whatever. We're, we're, that's good, right? We are omnivores. What does it mean to be an omnivore? You eat meat and plants, both, right? You do both. And we know that based on our jaw and our teeth, right? Um, so we're going to get fats from meat. We're going to get fats from nuts. We're going to get fats from avocados, right? Things like that olive oil, coconut oil, those are the healthy sources of fats. Um, coconut oil is your best cooking oil. Why? Because it, it can withstand heat the best, right? It can stand the most temperature before it starts to denature and turn into what we call a trans fat, right? And trans fats we all know are, are, are bad, right? Um, and so where are we getting our carbohydrates from? If we're not getting our carbohydrates from grains, where are we getting them from? Fruits and vegetables. Are you with me? That's where they come from. And so when I take care of someone or I'm working with someone who's a vegetarian, what I, what I have found over the years is most vegetarians are grainitarians. They're grainaholics, right? I have friends that are vegetarians that are very much overweight. And you say, how can you be a vegetarian and be very much overweight? Because you're eating grains for breakfast and grains for lunch and grains for your snack, right? We think vegetarian, we think they're eating a whole bunch of vegetables, right? But that's typically not the case. They're, they're, most of them are, are grainaholics, right? They're eating copious amounts of grains, which is really uh, not that healthy of a diet. Make sense? 
So we're trying to get 40% of our calories from fruits and vegetables. So what I say is that you should be eating a plant-based diet. The majority of your calories should be coming from plants, right? Do plants have cholesterol in them? No. What is the most, listen to this, what is the most nutrient-dense, low-calorie food you can put into your body as a, as a group? Vegetables. Vegetables are the most nutrient-dense, low-calorie food you can put into your body. So you can eat copious amounts of them. You're not taking in that many calories, right? But you're getting massive nutritional benefit from them, right? Antioxidants, minerals, everything, all right? Um, so we have a plant-based diet, and we're adding in meats and nuts.